damage. Mm. Is that it? Oh, no, wait, this one. One little piece. I have. Oh, good. We're good. We are Steve and Adria, and Alexi is our Doberman pup. In 2019, we started slowly converting our DIY camper van on the weekends at our home base in Las Vegas. But the pandemic quickly changed our plans with Steve getting laid off. The silver lining? More time for the van build, location freedom to start van life even before our van was finished, and teaming up with a metal worker buddy in Oregon to design a roof rack for our ProMaster and start a business crafting adventure van accessories. And that's where our story picks up. Good morning. We're making some quick breakfast in the middle of a road, actually. <laughs> but it's a dead-end road. It's where we camped out for the last night. And we've been here actually before. There's really never any traffic, so it's all good, I think. We're gonna finish up our breakfast here, and we're gonna hit the road. <laughs> good morning. Uh, parking near a meadow is so awesome because we can see Lexi no matter where she's at. <laughs> so she, she's she finding found all the a spots. nice little sunny patch. Yeah, finding all the spots to sun herself. Whereas like when we're in the woods, sometimes it's like, where are you, Lexi? Come here. But we can just like look out and it's like she has a big playground. Yeah, Great. this is what she needs. <laughs> second time driving up to McMinnville, Oregon um, in the van in the last few months and if you've been watching since the beginning you might be wondering why. When we first started building our van uh, we knew that we wanted to have a roof rack for solar mounted and for having a, a, a deck, a roof deck. We knew we wanted that and we have a ProMaster, and so so much of the gear and accessories and all that kind of stuff that's created is actually for Sprinter vans. Um, and so we weren't really finding what we wanted for a ProMaster. At the same time, Steve and his buddy, who happens to live up in McMinnville, Oregon, had been talking, and Cody was really into van stuff. He's a fantastic metal worker. And Steve decided to talk to him about, like, can we put together a roof rack for our van, build it together, and maybe even make it in kind of a more modular way so it can be available to other people who have ProMasters and also want a pretty awesome roof rack too. So and, that... And eventually, hopefully, it could be available for sprinters and transits. But yeah. And if... ProMasters first, because we have one. <laughs> yeah, and because because ProMasters need some cool gear too. The last time we went up was actually when we got the prototype and it got fitted onto the roof and there were some changes to make to be made and so now we're going up again. I really really hope that this one will be it and we can like really mount it and powder coat it and all the like nerdy van build things and have and put and put our put our freaking solar up. Just had a picnic. We pulled over. One of the beauties of the van is when you see a patch of shade <laughs> and a beautiful view. <laughs> and you're hungry for lunch, then you can pull over and have a little van picnic. We left our beautiful spot this morning because we needed to find uh, another place for some Wi-Fi reception. Adria had a call mm -hmm. this morning. And so we made it to Klamath? Klamath, Klamath, Klamath Falls. I mess it up every time. I'm terrible at <laughs> things. Anyway, it was, it was the next 
major city that was close enough that we knew had a little coffee shop that had some good Wi-Fi that we could use and really good coffee. And it is the final city that we knew we could count on that kind of thing. And have reception. For, and have reception yeah. and stuff like that for miles and miles, yeah, probably, probably, probably until probably our destination. Next, yeah, probably the next at least three or four hours, so. Can you like pull it out of the way so we can close the door? Unless we want to take it with us, it's kind of pretty. Okay. Top branch. Is that it? Oh, oh wait, this one. One little piece. Okay. Oh, good. Oh. oh, a little stuck. All right, hold it's on. Okay. This one. I don't. Right. This one seems impossible. You got it. Got it. Okay. All right, close All right. it. Really love this area. This is the drive through uh, to Oak Ridge. It's I think Highway 58. It's. Wow, it's my favorite road. This is really beautiful with the trees. They're so close to the road and it curves back and forth. And it's just, yeah, it's good for the soul. Just pulled up to my buddy's metal fabrication shop. I'm gonna touch base with him and get a game plan for this week. And that's where we're gonna leave you for tonight. Yeah, we were telling her. We're like, are you gonna go see it? Yeah, say she's. Good morning. We uh, didn't have the prettiest of spots last night, but very functional. We're camping out in front of my buddy's uh, metal fabrication shop. Uh, we have a sink with running water now. Yeah. Which is quite Good a luxury. Am amenities. And a toilet. You know, all the luxuries in life. <laughs> <laughs> and Lexi is and on the front porch. Lexi's enjoying herself though. <laughs> Looks pretty content here. <laughs> and we got our little camp stove set up in here to do some breakfast. We got some toast finishing up. Adria's over there. I think working on getting a, a YouTube video or something loaded up for us to watch, right love? Yep. Getting uh, our, our morning uh, while we eat breakfast, chill down, van life vlog of someone else. <laughs> <laughs> So we've picked up all the parts for the roof rack and I'm inside the van actually right now because we've got uh, fans going on out the shop. It's pretty hot here. We thought we were getting out of the desert heat, but it's supposed to be 95 degrees up here in Oregon today. So yeah, it's like a wind tunnel as soon as I step out of this van, but I'm going to come show you the parts here. Take a look. Birds doing. So we ran into a bit of an issue with fitting the rack. The front deflector, the arc, we changed the arc last time because it was a little too much and so we shrink it and we shrink it a little too far. So now we're trying to figure out how we can modify this one to at least make it fit. 
Good morning. So it's a new day, but we still have the same problem we were having with the front and rear deflectors fitting perfectly. We're just kind of being a little picky at this point, but we're hoping to get the, uh, the gap just right. Oh, wait, that's not Lexi. That's Lexi. We got two Dobermans in the Dober van. <laughs> Life is complete. He was a little bit taller than Lexi. <laughs> He's yeah. probably twice her size, almost. But I swear they hit He's... the same point on the dash. Really? I think he's actually like a better fit for the van. He just like, his head coasts right over there. So He's got a good view. No, I don't want to get rid of Lexi. Alright, so Lexi's definitely smaller. Yeah, her head comes much lower than Abe's. So things got a little hectic today and getting the roof rack situated on top. As you can kind of tell, I'll give you a little peek. It's up there, and it looks good. It's Friday, which means that all the places that we need to get word back from about the different parts for the roof rack are closed until Monday. Powder coating. Powder coating. The powder coating place is closed until Monday, and also the place to yeah, we need to have, get even parts. though we, uh, we made the front and rear panel fit, we still have to actually change the computer file and have it electronically cut for like the final product, but uh, we made it work for now. Yeah, so that is all on hold until Monday. And since it is Friday night, we're gonna go have a little stroll downtown here uh, to decompress from the work week. Join us next time as we take the roof rack on its first real world test run to the beautiful Oregon coast. Will our design hold up to fast speeds and hundreds of miles? Will we find the perfect secluded beach spot? Subscribe and stay tuned to find out. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up to show us. See you soon!